Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O and this uh, blue rectangle A, B, C, D put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this side length uh, C, D is uh, tangent to this uh, semicircle and moreover uh, this uh, segment uh, A, E is uh, 18 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. We know that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me go ahead and label this one as uh, lowercase r. Then this uh, OF uh, is going to be lowercase r radius as well. And moreover, this uh, AD side length uh, is the uh, same as the radius r. So therefore, uh, I'm going to label this one as lowercase r as well. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue rectangle, and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. And in our case, uh, the length uh, of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, AB, and the width uh, of this rectangle is uh, lowercase uh, r. So therefore, the blue rectangle uh, area is going to be radius r times uh, the length uh, a b let me label uh, this our equation uh, number one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b a let me label uh, this angle uh, b a e as uh, alpha and now let's recall uh, cosine of angle alpha is uh, adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse and in our case uh, the adjacent side is uh, a b and the hypotenuse uh, is uh, 18 so therefore i can write uh, cosine of angle alpha equals to side length uh, a b divided by 18 and now we are going to multiply 18 on both uh, sides uh, to remove this uh, fraction so therefore we can see this 18 and 18 cancels out so therefore our a b length turns out to be 18 times the cosine of angle alpha let me label this one as our equation number two and now we are going to think outside the box and i have connected this point e and f as you can see in this next step and as a result we got this triangle a e f and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, E, and F are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle where the line AF is the diameter, then the angle uh, A, E, F uh, is a right angle. In other words, uh, it's going to be 90 degree angle. And here in our case, we can see that we got these points uh, A, E, and F uh, on this uh, semicircle and this uh, AF uh, is the diameter. So no wonder this angle AEF uh, is going to be 90 degree angle. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, AEF. And now let's recall once again uh, cosine of angle alpha is equal to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, uh, our adjacent uh, is uh, 18 and the hypotenuse is uh, AF. So therefore I can write down cosine of alpha equals to 18 divided by this length uh, AF. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AF length uh, is same as R plus R is going to make it uh, two times R. So therefore, I'm going to substitute AF by 2 times R over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, AF length uh, by 2 times R. 
and here the right hand side could be reduced to 9 divided by r. So therefore our cosine of angle alpha turns out to be 9 divided by r. So therefore our cosine of alpha value turns out to be 9 divided by r. And now let's recall once again equation 2 a b length equals to 18 times cosine of alpha. And here I am going to replace this uh, cosine of alpha by 9 divided by r over here. So therefore I can write a b length is going to be 18 times 9 divided by r. If we simplify the right hand side our a b value is going to be 162 divided by radius r. And now let's recall once again uh, equation 1. Blue rectangle area equals to r times uh, ab. And we know our ab value is 162 divided by r. So I'm going to replace it uh, over here. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we can see this uh, r and r cancel each other out. So therefore uh, our this uh, blue rectangle area turns out to be 162 square units. So thus our blue rectangle area turns out to be 162 square units by using the first method. And now let me share with you the second method. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. This angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. Now in this uh, tiny right triangle uh, FBE, this angle is uh, alpha, this angle is uh, 90 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these are two right triangle, uh, right triangle ABE and the other right triangle AEF are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. So therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, AB and AE as you can see this uh, length is our AB and this uh, length is uh, AE is going to be equal to the ratio of AE divided by AF and here is uh, our AE length and here is uh, our AF length and now we can see our AE length uh, is uh, 18 our AE length is once again 18 and this AF is the diameter so this is going to be 2 times radius r. So therefore I can write uh, AB divided by 18 equals to 18 divided by 2 times r. And now we can see on the right hand side 18 divided by 2 r is same as 9 divided by r. So therefore we can write AB divided by 18 equals to 9 divided by r and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore i can write uh, r times uh, a b is going to be 9 uh, times uh, 18 so therefore r times a b length uh, turns out to be 162 so therefore our r times a b value turns out to be 162 and now let's recall once again this equation one we know that uh, blue rectangle area is uh, r times uh, a b length and our r times a b length is uh, 162 so therefore our this uh, blue rectangle area turns out to be 162 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle uh, turns out to be 162 square units by using uh, the second method as well Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.